Okay, good afternoon everyone. Uh, today, uh, the topic of my video is how to approach the uni unilateral acute visual loss. Okay, uh, all you need is just an ophthalmoscope in your hand. Okay, first you must check the patient's red reflex. Okay, so what is red reflex? Red reflex is actually the red color reflections that you see if you see through an ophthalmoscope into a patient's eye. Okay, the retina layer is actually transparent. What the the orange orange red reflex that you are seeing is actually from the choroidal vessels. Okay, so if you see the red reflex uh, is good, meaning it is reddish orangey in color, and then you after that you check the relative afferent pupillary defect. Okay, so if the red reflex is good and there is no RAPD, meaning the eye is normal. Okay, all right. So next, if you check for the red reflex, and then uh, next you check the relative afferent pupillary defect, and you found it is positive. So the acute visual loss is most likely due to the conduction defect. Okay, conduction. Uh, is actually from the nerve which is the retina and also the optic nerve okay as for the retina uh, most uh, common causes is the from the vascular causes which are central retinal artery occlusion and also central retinal vein occlusion these two will cause acute visual loss in a patient all right and how about the optic nerve causes in the optic nerve causes, the most common are uh, optic neuritis, traumatic optic neuropathy, and AION, which is the non anterior ischemic optic neuropathy or anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, and also optic atrophy. And what I have left here is the advanced glaucoma in one eye. Okay? If the glaucoma is the same in both eyes, you wouldn't get any RAPD. But if one eye is worse, much much worse, then you can get RAPD in a patient. Okay. Next, if you, you check again the red reflex, okay, then you find the red reflex is actually reduced. Reduced meaning uh, it is not red, it is not orange, but it is probably black uh, or blackish in color. Okay, so that is, uh, it is reduced in, in, sometimes it's even black, okay, you don't get any red reflex, okay, but when you check for the pupillary light reflex, you don't see any RAPD, so most likely, the main reason of the unilateral visual loss is from the media, okay, so the media comes from the cornea, to the anterior chamber, to the lens, and even to the vitreous, okay, so any pathology in between that medium can lead to reduce uh, reduce red reflex. Okay, so for example, in the cornea, if you have severe corneal scarring, patient can have reduced red reflex. Okay, in the anterior chamber, if patient have high femur, total high femur, total hypopion, patient can also have reduced red reflex. And then in the lens, which is the most common, patient will have patient is having cataract and we go back further if uh, in the vitreous probably patient is having vitreous hemorrhage or even severe vitritis okay all right and then we go back up again e and then you see the red reflex is reduced you check the RAPD and the RAPD is positive okay so you start to think so there must be some conduction component and also some media component. Okay, so patient could be having could be having dual pathology. Okay, I give few examples here: acute angle acute angle closure glaucoma in a very acute stage, whereby the optic nerve is probably compromised, and also the cornea is damaged. Yeah? Cornea is compromised with severe edema. You can get RAPD positive, and you can get reduced red reflex from the severe cornea edema. Okay, and next is traumatic hyphema with traumatic optic neuropathy. 
for example, patient was being hit by a shuttlecock while playing games, while playing badminton. Okay, this is very common. So, you won't see any red reflex and please don't forget to check for the relative afferent pupillary defect because patient can have dual pathology. Okay, and next we go to traumatic vitreous hemorrhage with traumatic optic neuropathy. This is common in uh, such a, a more severe blunt trauma such as from tennis ball or even golf ball. Okay, whereby the pathology goes further further behind. The, the higher the velocity, the, the more uh, the deeper the pathology is. Okay, and finally, patient could also be having retinal detachment or total retinal detachment whereby RAPD is positive, red reflex can also be reduced. Okay, so we have uh, completed on how to approach the unilateral acute visual loss. Okay, I hope this would help you. Okay, till the next video, please comment if you want me to teach you on any topics. Okay, bye.